Blaze is a fluid solver and renderer running entirely on the GPU with the goal of providing a fast, flexible and easy to use solution for fluid and computer graphics. Our implementation of the solver and renderer is done using CUDA Toolkit 10.2. The idea is to move the entire fluid simulation and rendering pipeline to the graphic card to avoid the expensive cost of transferring grid information between host and device memory. In our framework, only the source particle will be pushed to the device and similarly only the frame buffer containing the rendered pixel will be retrieved from GPU memory. This design choice maximizes occupancy on the GPU at virtually any point of execution. We will start by giving a high-level overview of the program's execution as well as a description of the data structure used. Then we will take a close look at our linear system solve implementation related to the non-divergent velocity projection. We will also discuss our approach to efficient particle-to-grid sourcing and will finish by explaining our general strategy in regards to procedural turbulence. First, the scene description is read and parsed by the CPU, then the particle file associated with the first frame is read and copied to GPU memory. From this point, all following steps, excluding the writing of the rendered image to disk, will be performed on the GPU. The source particles are scattered to grids, the body forces are applied, non-divergent projection is performed and the grids are finally advected. The rendering part of the algorithm follows a standard grid remarching implementation, preceded by a 3D convolution to approximate the multiple scattering contribution of the emission. The time step ends by writing the frame buffer to disk using the CPU, before it moves to the next frame, back to the sourcing step. Here is a visual representation of the main data structures required in GPU memory at runtime. Some structures are duplicated in depth to indicate the presence of a front and back buffer in memory. This data duplication is necessary for tasks where in-place operations are not possible. In order to use hardware tree linear interpolation for rendering, we copy the temperature grid to a CUDA 3D texture. Our program implements a GoCidal red-black solver since previous work shows it outperformed both Jacobi and Conjugate Gradient in the context of a parallel GPU implementation. The idea behind this technique is to conceptually apply a checker pattern across the grid so no neighboring voxels share the same color. The GoCidal update of a pressure voxel will involve itself and all its direct neighboring voxels tagged with a different color, meaning those are read-only for the course of the first half iteration. The second half iteration will update the other color while keeping the previously updated colors unchanged. This two-step process eliminates the right hazards inherent to parallel implementation of the GoCidal algorithm, thus ensuring deterministic results. The source particles are sequentially stored on disk in a custom binary file format where particle takes 32 bytes each, three floats for both the position and velocity, and one float for the p-scale and temperature. Those files can be generated using the provided Udini digital asset running within the free version of Udini. Each thread will scatter a single particle to the grid. The write hazards are resolved using atomic functions. This ensures that no thread will overwrite a value that was just set by another thread running concurrently. The use of those operations is known to lead to severe performance degradation, but it is possible to reduce the impact of atomic function by minimizing particle overlap before caching. As opposed to common implementation, our sourcing is done by replacement instead of by addition. This makes it easier to model abrupt changes in the grid and also keep the values bounded by the source to facilitate the adjustment of parameter depending on the range in the grids. Our simulation takes place in a dense domain instead of a sparse one. Each side of the domain can be defined as either a solid boundary or a free surface, where free surfaces can be coupled with a wind force to simulate the interaction of the environment on our finite simulated domain. It is also possible to inject turbulence into the simulation using two masks. One based on the temperature to keep the turbulence outside the renderable volume, and the other derived from the velocity magnitude to add more turbulence to fast-moving regions of the fluid. Our solver also supports vorticity confinement, which can be used to boost the rotational component of the velocity field. Here are some of the results obtained with Blaze. 